Learning how to manage your time better using Notion without using loads of databases, relations and rollups is something I think a lot of people should consider. In this video, I'm going to go over a weekly planner and block time schedules with no databases. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. So straight away when coming into this page, because I'm not using databases, it gives you much more flexibility with how you want to design your page. Now as you can see, we've got all of the titles of the week and then we have an inbox. So when I open up this toggle, you can have different inbox tasks for the week or underneath you can write any specific notes for the whole week. And all of the days of the week work exactly the same. If I use the shortcut Control alt t I can open up all of these days and I can see all of the tasks that I need to get done for each day in this week. Then I can tick them off when they're done and if it's not that day I can just close the toggle so I don't have to see it. Then if there are any notes specific for that day that I need to remember for the next day I can just type it in in a text block below that day. Now when I scroll down you can see I've got my time blocking on the left side of this calendar. Now I said at the beginning of the video there's no databases, this is purely just for example so you could have your time block on the left and then you could have a calendar for all of your events on the right. If you did want to incorporate a task and events database you could do it right there and then like I showed in a previous video. But even without the databases you can see you can add in all of the text next to the specific time in the day. Now you could keep that as a template, you could make that a template or you can just highlight them all, delete them, and then add a new day, and that will give you all of those new times completely fresh. Now having the calendar next to this, I think gives it an advantage, because essentially you have your weekly view at the top, your daily view on the left, and then your monthly view on the right. Now as we scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see I've got a database in here, and again, this is just for an example, you could just use tick boxes. But in this case, I've got this filtered for today, so every new day, all you will have is that one row. In that row, you can see it's now today's date, because that's the filter I have on the database, and then we can go across and tick off whatever habits we've done or haven't done during that day. Then of course, because this is a database, you can view all of those entries, so you can see I have an entry from yesterday, so you could use this as a habit tracker for viewing everything in the last week, the last month, or anything like that but there's no advanced use of the database. It is just a date property with tick boxes and you don't need to have it in a database. It could just be a date tag with tick boxes that go across. If you're interested to see how I made the different text and different color in this workspace, then check out this video over here and I'll see you there.